We're here to ban the Kestrel nest box behind us. This is um, a pretty successful season for them in New Jersey. We have about 250 boxes between ones that ENSP put up over the years and partners with Friends of Hopewell Valley Open Space, Natural Lands in South Jersey and Raritan Headwaters further north. We also work with a lot of the county folks and we're right now on a wildlife management area. And so this is one of 125 nest boxes out of that 250 that have been active this season. Today, we're going to ban the chicks in the box. They should be somewhere around 16 to 20 days old. We like to ban them at that age. They're most likely to attempt fledging the box, and so we're not putting bans on birds that not make it to fledging. This age, we pretty much just pull them out and weigh them, put a band on them, and then tell the, the sex of them. By about the 12th, 13th day, they have enough plumage coming from their flight feathers and their tail that are, that are erupting that you can tell them apart by the different colorations. Males have slate gray and black banding, and then the females have brown and black banding. We should have somewhere around 400 chicks for the season. That'll be a, a, a record for the season, over 100 successful boxes. Without volunteers, a lot of what ENSP does would not run, but I can definitely say with certainty that this project would not be as successful. The ENSP has about 100-ish boxes that we monitor. Friends of Hopewell Valley have another 50. Raritan Headwaters has another 40 plus. And uh, Steve Eisenhower with Natural Lands has uh, around 70 in Salem, Cumberland, and a little bit in Gloucester County. So without those partnerships, without having you know the volunteers behind right now that are the folks that monitor the box through the season, and they're able to tell me when there's activity, then I can come out and try and catch the adults, get a beat on like how many eggs they lay, how you know where they are in incubation. It's just a lot of ground. I have boxes from Milford over towards Bedminster and all the way into Burlington County, and I'm coming from Gloucester County. So it's an hour plus drive for me to get to the southern end of this study area. So without having people on the ground being able to give me all that intel, I really wouldn't be able to manage a project of this size. So it's through the years, almost everything that the Kestrel Project runs on is volunteer driven from the supplies to the management to the monitoring.